Hello, my lovely Virgos. Welcome to your love reading. This reading's not going to resonate with everybody, so do keep that in mind. Take what does, leave the rest behind. And just I'll let you know, I have updated my website. My pricing is on there, and you can now book a reading with me directly from my website. And um, let's see what else. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. And you want to make sure you have that notification bell hit so you don't miss any future videos. I up upload a lot of videos. And also my giveaways. You don't want to miss those either. My current giveaway is my birthday giveaway where I'm giving away three prizes. And that will be announced on my birthday on January 12th. And the, to launch of my new store, because I cleaned it up and added my services and added links to my appointment book for you to book your appointments. Um, if you go to my website, www.mysticgen.com, and go to my blog, there is a blog post with a coupon code for 15% off my one-on-one um, -on -one live readings. Okay, that coupon will expire. January 15th, 2021. Um, also, to enter the giveaway, send an email to readings at mysticgen.com in the subject line, birthday giveaway. And that um, that is also in that email address, my website, all my social media is in the description box below. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into your energies. Go pull a couple cards for your energy. Over, This is overall energy. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Angel of Spirit Guides, messages and guidance, please. What is Virgo's energy? We have the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But the devil is representation of something unhealthy, some kind of attachment. It could be an addiction. It could also be fear. It could be deception. We'll see what the other card is to see exactly what the devil is talking about. But it's usually something that needs to be broken. It's usually something unhealthy. Okay. Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is representing not seeing the truth, not seeing... It's like somebody needing, not wanting to make a decision. Okay? I think that's what this is saying, is somebody does not want to make a decision because they're afraid of making the wrong decision. Okay, we're going to get into your Oracle cards now. Clarity, messages, guidance for Virgo, please. Clarity messages guidance for virgo clarity messages guidance for virgo okay you've got the buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide so if you're afraid of making a wrong decision you need to trust in spirit um this is saying that the, the universe is going to provide it. You just have to have a little bit of faith. The universe is, a, is, is very abundant. And you need to trust your intuition here. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. So what I am getting here is somebody is afraid of making the wrong decision because they're afraid of what other people are going to say. And what my gods are telling me is... You can't worry about what other people think. You need to um, sing your own tune. March to the beat of your own drum. It's kind of like a sense of freedom. Um, and that devil card could also be representing bondage. Um, so you, you might be feel like you're bound up. That you're, you're unable to make a decision. You're unable to move forward. Because you're bound by what... You, uh, you're bound by fear of what other people are going to think. Now, uh, what I feel is you know the right decision. 
and you have to trust your intuition you have to trust the instincts you have to those that is your guide sending you messages and trying to lead you in the right direction we have the oracle seek wisdom and guidance from elders um this is kind of what, why you're here at a tarot reading because you're seeking wisdom and guidance here and you need to tr trust in the guidance and we have the wolf this is beware of who you trust so what i'm feeling here is that i yeah don't beware of who you put your trust in somebody may be giving you bad advice somebody may be tr leading you down the wrong road um and you have to do what is right for you is what spirit wants you to know doing the right thing is doing what is right for you what is in your best interest clarity messages guidance for virgo got two cards that came out together we have solitude and we have letting go what I feel like it, this is saying here is that maybe you need to back off a bit, do something alone, go into solitude, go into meditation and trusting your intuition and letting go of what other people are saying, Be, letting go of a situation. And I think your hang up is if you let go, you're afraid of what people are going to think. You have to stop being afraid of what other people think. Envy, because they're trying to lead, tell you different things. They're trying to lead you astray out of envy and jealousy here. Woman holding a heart. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of jealousy issues. Um, there might be jealousy concerning a woman. Um, one, a woman might be jealous. So trying to feed you some incorrect information. Be, she might be, this could be a man, but if you are the woman, there could be a man who is out of jealousy is deceiving you, telling you lies. If you are the man, this, there's this woman holding the heart tell, that is jealous and feeding you some lies. Um, this could be even a somebody, a woman who, and it's man or a woman, if you're a man or a woman. This could be a woman who is very jealous of your connection and feeding lies, rumors in order to cause a breakup. And this might be this woman that you might need to let go of. Angel. This is your angels are guiding you and protecting you on your spiritual pathways. So you got protection here. There's, there is spiritual protection around you. And we have the snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful. You know, sometimes a snake is also a representation of another woman. So I do feel like, I don't feel like, well, we'll see what the tarot says. But it definitely feels like somebody is interfering here. We have a third party situation, whether there's cheating yet or not, there may not be. It just may be somebody is jealous and wants your person or somebody is jealous of your connection of some sort, whether they want your person or it, this could be a sister that's jealous. Okay. Or sister-in-law or mother-in-law, you know, somebody who is jealous, who is out to cause discord. That is what I get. Okay, we're going to get into the tarot now. And I am going to throw out reversals because Spirit has called me to. I keep fighting the reversal idea, but 
it's like when spirit says, you know, you're going to use reversals whether you like it or not. Or it's like me trusting my own intuition when the reversals come up. You know, it's... I just got to trust in the process too. Okay, let's see the messages. Clarity messages and guidance, please, for the for Virgo, please. Clarity messages and guidance for Virgo. Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, this is somebody who is reluctant to walk away from a situation because they are afraid of failure. Um, somebody is romantic because they're afraid of failure. You know, the, somebody is delaying their own success because they're not walking away from a situation, a situation because they're, somebody's romanticizing the past um, when they need to be standing up for themselves and standing their ground, temperance, because there needs to be healing, that ne healing needs to take place in this. And by romanticizing the past, it doesn't help the healing process at all. So I want to try, try to get these all in. Yeah, we got the world in reverse. So yeah, somebody is definitely trying to keep things together. Don't want, are trying to avoid some sort of ending here. Okay, there is a, there's like this sense of needing to turn things around, needing to heal something. Um, what does this um, snake have on you is what I got to ask. What does the snake have on you that you cannot seem to move past it? Too many cards. Not what I was planning. Okay. <clears throat> See what else comes up here. King of Wands reverse. This is somebody who's, uh, who's very controlling. That could be that third party. Um, oh, trying to find ways to fit everything on my table. You know, this is somebody who lacks. This is somebody who lacks ambition. Somebody who lacks confidence. Calm and but they're facing the sun. They're. They, they, somebody wants that confidence. Somebody wants that happily ever after. But somebody is lacking the confidence and the willpower to move forward. And they're carrying this heavy load with them. And because they're carrying the heavy load. But this is, this, I feel like the heavy load is ending. But there is this chance at a new beginning. Somebody just needs the willpower to take it. Um, Knight of Swords. Somebody needs to slow down. Somebody needs to stop their reckless behavior. Somebody and somebody's very abrupt. Um, there's like this harsh, harsh energy, this harsh attitude here. But somebody needs to slow down and smell the coffee. Really, um, when I say that, that means like waking up. Okay, to reality. Let's see obstacles we have. The chariot, that's somebody who is not moving forward because they they continue to um, they continue to dwell on something that's been keeping them awake, but it, and it's leading to a tower moment. I think somebody does not want to face their fear. Somebody does not want to face their anxiety and deal with them head on. And it is leading to a tower moment. You know, everything's going to come out. Every, it, it, somebody, you're heading towards an explosive situation. Outcome is the devil reversed. A release of toxic energy. And time to put work into where you receive something back. Somebody has been breadcrumbing. Um, but the pain and suffering seems to be over. So it seems like you're going to come out of this. But you need to let something go. This per this is either going to continue to plague you and cause some kind of fall, some kind of disruption in your life. That snake is going to cause a disruption or you're going to let it go 
and um, and end it, end the pain, and and let the sun shine again. Star card with the um, eight of cups reversed. Somebody's being divinely guided about leaving a situation, nine of cups, because without letting go of something, you're denying your own wish fulfillment. Two of cups, this could lead to a breakup and a split. I think that this that is the goal of that snake, whoever that extra person is, lovers, and you, you have to stand up for what you believe in. Forget about what everybody else says. Again, it's going back to those oracles. Forget about what everybody else says. Um, make the right decision that is right for you. Stand up for what you believe in. Um, this could be a soulmate connection here. Um, Queen of Wands. Uh, this is a heart over head decision. But somebody needs to be logical. And clear thinking. Three of Cups. You know, somebody needs to end a third party. Two of Pentacles and stop juggling. You know, that King of Wands is not making any kind of decision there. He is juggling two people. Um, King of Pentacles. You know, you have, the, you have the opportunity to move towards stability. You have the opportunity for some to take your, for your, current, your relationship to be something solid. You have to stop juggling. Moon, you know, you're hiding your, somebody is hiding their, um, their struggles. They're happy-go-lucky and they're hiding things. So I do feel like this is a secret. Um, the, your person doesn't know about this. Now keep in mind, the roles can be reversed. Your person could be the one hiding with the third party as well. Um, three of Swords, third party. You know, there's communication with a third party that is, and that third party only wants to cause heartache, pain, and breakup. Queen of Pentacles here. Being practical, we have a true match on the board. <coughs> we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We also have the King and Queen of Swords. So this, and we have the Lovers card here, upright. This does feel like. You're all, you are in a soulmate connection. You are with your true match. But there is definitely somebody trying to interfere with that happiness. Um, and this is a four of swords in reverse. You know, this, it's time to heal. Um, right, It's time to take some action on this now. If you want to keep your happy life, happy wife, happy life, whatever... If you want to keep the happiness, if you want the ten, ten of Pentacles, the happiness, that stability, that true love in your life, if you want your wish fulfillment, you know, somebody has to go. Page of Cups. Yeah, the flirting has to stop. Otherwise, the wheel's going to turn in a direction you don't want it to turn. That is something go, that which means something is going to go south. I think the relationship that you really want is going to go south unless you make a, some sort of decision here. Hermit, you know the hermit energy, Virgo. That's your energy there. That is going within, seeking the wise counsel, trusting your intuition. Okay, Queen of Cups. You know, being loving to self again. That's intuition, trusting in it, trusting in your instincts there. Knight of Pentacles. That is something not moving forward. That's at a dead stop. So I feel you need to, you know which connection needs to stop. You know what needs to stop. Um, doesn't necessarily mean you are cheating or your partner is cheating. It could be. It's however it resonates. A third party is somebody who interferes in your relationship. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. But I do feel like jealousy is at the root of it all. Absolutely. Okay, so these are the messages I have for you. Again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. Blessed be.